announcement. For more on the cancellation and the pandemic's effect on show business, we connect to Jamie Rodriguez, the host, producer, and president of J-Rod Concerts Media. Good morning, Jamie. Hi. Hello, everybody from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, um, Jamie, let's, let's start with the interview. So it was disappointing that music fans um, for the Grammys were indefinitely postponed, but not uh, it wasn't quite expected. Were you surprised by the decision, and do you see the organizers pushing ahead with a later date? No, I think I think I wasn't surprised. I think that everybody's kind of bracing with this new wave of Omicron for this kind of large-scale event to be postponed. And and yes, the Grammys, I, I expect them to push forward. I mean, ever since they their first edition in 1959, they've always found a way through resiliency to eventually happen including last year, where they were pushed from January to March and they were done outdoors. Uh, but yes, the Grammys, I think, will find a way to, to move forward. Okay, um, as you may be aware, we're based in South Korea, so we wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, K-pop. BTS have enjoyed explosive success, as we all know, in the United States and around the rest of the world. Blackpink also doing very well in the United States. Uh, do you think there is a lot of enthusiasm for K-pop in general? And what do you think, if there are other K-pop bands out there, what is the recipe for success to crack America like BTS have done? Yes, I think, I've, I mean, first of all, big shout-outs to K-pop and what BTS has done in America has been extraordinary, right? I mean, three number one songs last year and, uh, and of course, the Grammy nomination this year. Uh, but yes, I think that, you know, I think that what makes them special is they're so authentic and they're energetic and they just bring passion every time they're on stage. And Americans love that, you know, whether it doesn't matter what part of the U.S. I mean, people love authenticity and that's what BTS delivers. So I think that that's always a surefire formula. And what about the recipe for success? Uh, what, what do you think BTS does right that other, other K-pop bands could do? You know, I think, first of all, they're very hard workers. And I think that's here in Nashville, you see that all the time with talent is that you can be, you can have the best voice, you can have the best vocals, but if you don't put the hard work in the day in, the day out, when no one is seeing it, uh, you're not going to get very far. And the uh, guys from BTS, uh, from everything I've heard, they are some of the hardest working people in music. So I think that just bodes well for them and for everybody following. Well, staying with that, um... So once the Grammys get rescheduled, do you think BTS could have a good chance of winning uh, considering the other nominees in their category? You know, I think BTS has a great chance to win. Um, first of all, they've been making waves and dancing the U.S. For, now for a couple of years, and they are impossible to ignore now. And they are nominated for the best pop duo uh, group performance. Uh, so I do think they have a great chance to win. I think that it's between them and Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett just because Tony Bennett is retiring. He just performed his last show. So I think BTS is going against the sentimentality factor of Tony Bennett retiring with Lady Gaga. But I think it's between them two, and I think BTS has a fantastic chance. Yeah, those are definitely two juggernauts to go up against, Tony Bennett and uh, Lady Gaga, particularly given the fact that Tony Bennett is about to retire. And like I say, uh, Grammys are big on... Uh, being sentimental and everything. Now, you might say that the Grammys are just not going to be the Grammys if you don't have all the glitz and glamour, the red carpet, the stars there, uh, all, all the media there and everything. Given that California is among the states in the United States with some of the toughest restrictions in regards to COVID, do you see any possibility where the organizers might say, OK, well, let's up sticks and go to uh, states that have fewer restrictions somewhere like uh, Texas or Nevada. I mean, just personally speaking, Las Vegas jumps out at me as a perfect location. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And that, that's a great question. But, but yeah, I, I mean, and the Grammys have been before in places like New York, for example. But, but at the end of the day, I think that, you know, everyone is kind of like on the same wavelength, whether you're in Nashville, in Florida, in New York or California. I think that the whole industry is like just trying to be safe. Everyone is putting out their, the health of their family and their friends uh, first and foremost. So if, if the Grammys have to be a scaled back version like last year, but stay in California, they'll do that. Um, I think that they did a really great job last year and, and, and that's a good footprint. You know, you can be smaller scale, but keep, keep it classy, keep it prestigious 
and make the best of the situation regardless of how this develops. All right, Jamie, thank you so much for making time with us. Let's hope something could be arranged so that you know, fans could enjoy a proper Grammys. Um, again, thank you so much for um, joining us and have a great weekend. Thanks for having me on. Thank you.